If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is gonna be my summer TBR. Every June I get overly excited and I tend to add a bunch of books to my TBR because it's the midpoint, you know, we're approaching and I want to read as many books as I can before the end of the year and I get a little nervous, but just really excited. I feel like I tend to read a lot during the summer. It's probably part of the reason, but yeah, the sun usually just gets to me. It's not super sunny today, but we're just gonna pretend. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually wearing a dress, but today's the first day in a while where it's not 20 degrees, it's actually eight degrees <laughs> Celsius. So um, we're pretending it's summer. <laughs> I will keep doing my monthly ones to let you know which uh, challenges and like which book club pick of the month we will be reading that month. But I just wanted to share a ton of the books so you can put, put them on uh, the waiting list at the library or something, get your hands on it so we can all read them together. So the first book is actually our Patreon book club pick of the month for June and it is An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. I have been meaning to read from this author for a while. I actually have Deep by them also on my TBR for this year. Who knows when that will happen? But I have been meaning to read that one because I've heard that it's really different. It is sci-fi, but the main character is black, queer, and autistic, which I don't feel like I've seen a lot for sci-fi specifically. I believe you're following the remnant of humanity uh, traveling to, you know, the promised land, and uh, this main character received kind of a coded message from her dead mother. I've heard great reviews. I just want to know. And I've actually heard it compared a little bit to Octavia E. Butler. We'll see how that goes. Very excited for this one. Let me continue with the challenge that I'm hoping to get to this month. I like to give myself one pretty much every month. And uh, I notice that things will start to slowly reopen before the end of year and I will be able to go back to library sales and just buy new books all the time. But I wanted to focus until then to the books that I do have on my shelf because I feel like some of them I'm planning on doing it on haul, like I said, and I need to read the books that I have. The ones that I forgot kind of that I have, you know, that I've been meaning to read for the longest time, but I still haven't. And I wanted to give myself little teams for that for reading vlogs because why the hell not? And you get to vote for the first one, which books you want me to read. I'm hoping to read two of the three that I'm including in this video. And it's going to be about magic. So basically magical schools or like learning magic kind of books. I have three that have been on my shelf for like three years at least. So I need to get around to reading them. The first one is by Brendan Sanderson. I believe this is why, which I've, you know, it's been complicated with this YA books. I really didn't care for the Reckoners, but I did really like uh, Skyward. So hopefully I will also enjoy the Rhythmatist. Is that how you say that? I know literally nothing about it except again, magic. And I believe it's like, written oh see written magic there's even pictures we do like picture books here uh no but seriously it's really pretty big it has to be why or okay so i have heard nothing and i mean nothing about this and i have like a whole shelf with a bunch of his books so this is one of the only ones that i haven't read and i've been curious i believe this might be like the first book in a series but i don't think there's more books in the series you can tell I know nothing, like literally nothing, which is the point of these reading vlogs that I'm planning. So this is the first option. <laughs> the second option is The Magician's Guilt by Trudy Canavan, which again, I forgot I had this on my shelf. I believe this was recommended to me because I mentioned how I like magical school and just people learning magic. So this was recommended to me. I got it and it's been on my shelf ever since. So I know nothing, just, you know, magician. And the last one is Magician Apprentice by Raymond Feast, which I know he's known for like older-ish uh, fantasy books, but I haven't read anything by him. And I have this one and the next one on my shelf. I picked it up at a library sale or used bookstore a while ago. And it's been there since. Uh, it is like a must market paperback, which I don't tend to read a ton of, but they're great to go to the beach. So like maybe during the summer, this could be one of the possible uh, reads. So you get to vote which two should I pick for that vlog. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for all three, but we'll see. I just wanted to give myself a specific team and hopefully it will be an ongoing thing because I definitely have books on my shelves that I tend to forget I own. So I also want to continue series that I started and you know never finished because I never do that. But some of them are really, really big and popular and I just need to catch up. Uh, this one, The Wise Men Fear by Patrick, uh, Patrick Rothfuss. 
I read finally the name of the wind last year and I obviously want to continue. I did enjoy really the beginning because again magical school but I didn't really care for the last bit and I've been told this is more like that. I just want to know okay I just want to know it's humongous it is such a scary book it's like a thousand pages but I did really enjoy the writing. Um, I've heard the complaints but I went into the first book with low expectations and ended up enjoying it and I'm gonna try to do the same thing with book two. I don't care for the romance, but we're hopeful, very, very hopeful that it will work out somewhat okay, or maybe not. That way I won't miss the third book. <laughs> and also, obviously, if I'm gonna read this one, I need to continue this series too, because I also read the first book last year, Words of Radiance by Bernard Sanderson. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive series. Also huge and scary, but I've been told that it just keeps getting better and better. This one is also over a thousand pages. And I did enjoy the first book. It's obviously the first book in a 10 book series. So there's a lot of world building, but I'm very excited to see how this is going. I mean, book four just came out. So, well, just. <laughs> Everything has been on pause in my head for the last year. Very scared. I'm very scared of these books. They're so big. Um, speaking of more series that I want to continue, I read like the first chapter and put it down because I had to pick up something else, but I still am meaning to read this uh, second book in this series, The Girl with uh, Who Played With Fire, which is the second book in the uh, The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo Millennium series. There it is. I love the first book to my surprise. I'm super late, uh, but this is happening. Maybe even book three, hopefully before the end of the year, maybe not the summer, but I, I think I'm a little nervous because I liked the first book a ton. And for some reason, because it's like kind of a like closed off story, like there's obviously, it's still open for more, but on its own, it stands pretty well. So I'm nervous that book two won't live up to my hype in my head, but everyone keeps telling me it will. So I think this is the last series that I want to continue that I have a physical book of. I was hoping to have time in May. May has been all over the place. So this, um, before they are, before they are hanged, there's an H, this is torture. Before They Are Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. Read the first book earlier this year, loved it. Really want to continue. And then I had mentioned that I wanted to read this really hype book that I keep seeing everywhere. Uh, if We Were Villains, which I had said, I think it was like a mystery-ish, but people were saying it's more like literary fiction. I believe it had been compared to um, the book by Donna Tart. I have like the black cover in my head, that one. History, why do I have history in my head? Secret history. There you go. I knew there was a history in there. So yes, uh, I believe you're following, you know, snobby Shakespeare students, actors, close enough. So I'm ready. I'm ready for the snobby people. While I was looking for books for uh, this little challenge I want to do in June, I also saw this, this book that I've been meaning to read forever. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I do really enjoy his writing in general. He writes a lot of YA, um, a little bit of every genre really, but I like his writing. And this was supposed to become a movie just before the pandemic. So it had been on my TBR at that time. Uh, everything has been pushed back, obviously. So I still haven't <laughs> picked it up, but I'm hoping to again this summer for sure. I might not have time for this challenge in June. So probably July or August. I. I'm planning on doing a new edition of Reading My Pile of Shame, which I feel like everyone has been enjoying. For anyone that doesn't know, sometimes I just put books down for no reason. Like I'm enjoying them usually. It just, I, and then years later, I'm like, huh, look at that. You still haven't finished it. <laughs> so to make fun of myself, I call it My Pile of Shame. There's no real shame there. But um, some of them have been there for a shameful <laughs> time, <laughs> including The Comte de Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas, which Yes, this year I have a good feeling, okay? It was supposed to happen last year and probably the one before, huh? Um, but I have a good feeling. <laughs> this might be my year. My edition is in two part. They're both like 700 pages. So I have read the first part a while ago now. I will be reading like a summary of it before continuing. I had read the first like 100 pages when I had attempted it again and then put it down again. It's good. Like I have no complaints about it. I just... I don't know. I do have the French edition, but like it's my first language. So there's no, there's no reason. Okay. Pile of shame. No reason. But like, what, what will we do? Like, how are we going to make fun of me if I finish it? Like we'll have nothing. 
Oh, it's focusing on someone else. Is it you? No, it's on you, damn it. I'm really hoping it didn't do that the whole time. The another book that I've been questioned about uh, a lot, it's still my pile of shame. I'm hoping this will be the season for it. <sighs> the Toll by Neil Schusterman. This is the last book in the Sight series. And I did enjoy it. I am enjoying it. This is a YA sci-fi series and it's great. You're fo There's a ton of like political intrigue, uh, some artificial intelligence. You're following this person that uh, it's part of a world where people don't die anymore. So we have like the sites that are there to just keep numbers down kind of thing. It's their job, but you know, with great powers become cor comes corruption. And the last book, I had started it. Actually, I have this still the thing there. I'll, you know, a couple chapters in. I will reread them in order to do the vlog. But I think these two, well, this might not, I might not have time for it during the vlog, but that specific month, I will read it. And for the vlog, for sure, I will choose this one. I have a few other ones on my shelf. Actually, I have the one, um, like, uh, Eleanor Elephant is completely fine. I think I probably should include that one, too, because it's been on there for so long. Anyway, we'll see what I do whenever we get to that vlog. But uh, Pile of Shame, this summer. Who wants to also do this? I have so many. It's... It is what it is. I've also been wanting to read more from authors I've enjoyed in the past, so I wanted to read more by Octavia E. Butler. I enjoyed Kindred by her. Amazing book, great standalone. Do recommend, it's a tough read though. And uh, you guys told me that this is the next one I should be picking up by her. And this is like a four books in one edition, so it looks kind of scary, but I can just commit to reading the first one, you know, I just need to start. Uh, the series is Seed to Harvest, but the first book is Wild Seed. So if you want to read it with me, I'm a little nervous because she tends to write sci-fi with like really hard topics mixed in. I don't remember which one is that one because I read like all of the premises for all of the ones that she have and they're all pretty intense, but I'm excited to just read more by her. I did enjoy writing and her topics really. I do have more on my list at the library. If you want to see actually all the ones that I have on my TBR, my waiting list, I will link down below. I did uh, just do a video about that topic, but two that I'm hoping to definitely read in June. So I'm gonna include them in here. Uh, the first one is the next book in the Louise Penny series, which for some reason, I keep mixing. I believe it is A Fatal Grace. So I have the ebook for that. So I will be continuing. It's like a murder mystery, uh, little towns in Quebec. I just wanted more because I enjoyed the writing and definitely um, like the characters. They're super likable. I just like cozy mysteries, you know? And I'm definitely going to be uh, listening to the audiobook, The Night Swim, which I have been on a huge kick for mystery thrillers. So I know nothing about it because I like going into my mystery thrillers like that. I think I'm gonna stop there because that's definitely more than enough books. Um, I'm excited, I told you. This is like the time of the year where I just get really into everything. And usually it's when I start reading mystery trailers, but I started very early this year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have read any of them and what you thought about them, obviously spoiler free. If you want to participate, the link for the Patreon will be down below. And don't forget to let me know, which ones should I read from these three? in that specific topic <laughs> for that reading vlog. I feel like you guys will want to know because Brendan Sanderson, but like between these two then, which one should I be picking up? I want to know. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you very soon. Next video is gonna be my wrap up for May. See you then, bye.